Hey learners, welcome to my channel. How are you all? Hope you all are doing great. Have you ever noticed a plant from your kitchen like coriander and a plant from your home garden like a rose? Both have two different types of arrangement of flowers. Flowers of coriander are in a bunch or a group whereas roses stand alone. Today we will learn about the particular positioning or arrangement of the flower. But don't you think that the positioning or the arrangement of flower is such a bigger sentence to speak? Don't worry, I have a term for you to sum up. Inflorescence. Inflorescence. Which simply mean arrangement of flowers on stem axis or floral axis. So now we can say that Flowers of coriander and roses show different types of inflorescence. To understand the term inflorescence in a better way, we need to have a look at its parts before its types. Peduncle, pedicel, bract and receptacle. Before proceeding further, I request you to take a breath, like, share, subscribe my channel and comment down below. If you want this video to be made available in Urdu or Hindi language. So first is peduncle. Peduncle is the central axis on which the flowers or the group of flowers are produced. Pedicel. Pedicel is the stalk of a single flower. When pedicel is absent, the flowers are called as sessile. And when it is present, the flowers are called as pedicellate. Bract. The reduced leaf in the axil of which the flower is formed is called as bract. If bract is absent, the flowers are called as ebracteate. And if bracts are present, flowers are called as bracteate. Receptacle is actually a peduncle axis which makes the flat disc like structure. Generally, there are two types of inflorescence, racemos and cymos. In addition to these, there are some special types as well. In the next video, we will have a look at the same. So make sure you have pressed the bell icon also. Thank you for watching. We'll meet you soon.